Hello, Internet. This is Whispering Wim, bringing you another grocery haul today. Uh, it is a nice warm day out there. Uh, I'm a little hot, I'll admit. I almost took off my little overshirt here, um, but I look a little more presentable with it on, so. <laughs> I will try to get through these quickly, though, because I have some perishables that I'm worried uh, are going to get too hot. So let's jump right in. First up is some Triscuits. This is roasted garlic flavor, which is quite tasty, but uh, not so great for uh, <laughs> your breath, right? Uh, my fiance tends to love those ones a lot. And we long since agreed that uh, we were just going to deal with garlic breath because we both love all things garlic. Triscuits and garlic bread. And I cook with a lot of garlic. So I almost don't even notice the smell anymore. <laughs> so I suppose that's a good thing. Uh, next up, we have some Oreo handy snacks. So this is the same flavor of, you know, traditional Oreos would have, except for the icing is separated into a little dippy cup. And I know my guy, he's a, he's a kid sometimes, or at least I, I uh, indulge him in his childlike things. Uh, he really enjoys being able to dip things. Uh, so I figured this would be um, a bit more fun for his lunches. And speaking of lunches, I also have some protein bars. These are chocolate peanut butter flavor. So that should be good. And along that same vein, I can get it out of here. We also have some Rice Krispie treats for his lunches. But you know me. I love to give him the fun stuff, so instead of regular flavor, this one is birthday cake. So it has a little swirl of icing on it and then some rainbow sprinkles <laughs> uh, to uh, add a little bit of brightness to his lunch, right? Next up, we have some trail mix also for the lunches, but this one is also um, I may eat a pack or two. The total carbohydrates is 12 grams, so a tiny bit on the high side. But two of those is dietary fiber, and there's some good fats in there and a little bit of protein. I am, um, I was very bad with my diet uh, since, uh, you know, we started facing the pandemic, right? Uh, it was an easy excuse in the beginning because I just couldn't buy the foods that I normally eat. Um, but I gained like two pounds back. And as far as I know, the wedding is still on. <laughs> um, you know, pandemic pending here. Uh, so I need to get back on the diet, um, which means less sugar and a lot more fat. Good fats, though. You can't just, you know, eat a bunch of dips and chips, right? Anyways, the other thing that I'm holding here and tapping on is a little box of golden curry mix. Following that, we have some Famous Dave's Barbecue Sauce, Devil's Spit flavor. Uh, my guy definitely loves hot, and this is one of the hotter sauces in the grocery store. I end up adding jalapenos or pepper flakes or, or something to kind of elevate his uh, meals a little bit, but uh, this is a good start. And I'm planning on making some hamburgers this month. So this is a nice alternative to, you know, the mayonnaise deal, right? We, I think we both like barbecue sauce on our burgers. So it'll be good. And then finishing off, my first bag here is my not diet friendly cheat here. Uh, it's two little cans of Monster Energy Drink. 
I am well aware that this is not good for me and that it is full of all the sugar that I'm supposed to be avoiding. But I find myself uh, getting very anxious these days. Um, I think that's a little natural, you know, not knowing, you know, when life will go back to normal, which, uh, you know, normal is, is going to be a relative term. It will never be the same, right? Um, but, you know, I want to go back to selling my artwork in person and, you know, seeing people. And I think I've just been getting a little, little depressed and some extra caffeine sometimes helps shake me out of a funk. Uh, but moving on, this little canister full of uh, noisy pellets is some um, Gain um, Fireworks uh, scented um, laundry booster. Um, I haven't been using any scent boosters or um, fabric softeners or anything. Um, technically, they just kind of add a lot of chemicals to the water supply, right? Uh, but I got a little sample pack of this stuff um, last time I went on a grocery shop. And just on a whim, I decided to use it. And I forgot how much I miss, like, the stereotypical laundry smell, you know? It's like clean and fresh and I don't know almost a little humid like that traditional laundry like aroma um, and I figured yeah, it'll be alright if I if I scent my clothes for a little bit should go back to just soap but I'm trying to find little things to help brighten my day and I think uh, having some nice smelling shirts <laughs> may uh, may help with that. Uh, next up is some um, Tupperware containers. Our supply of Tupperware containers is starting to lose its lids or otherwise become mismatched and it's definitely definitely driving my guy a little bonkers. Uh, usually I cook and he is kind enough to do the dishes uh, it's the, the one household chore that he consistently does for me. So along with that is putting the food away, right? You know, to clean that pot, you gotta empty it. So he's the one that's been dealing with the uh, Tupperware and I could tell he's been getting very frustrated with it. So I decided to just suck it up and buy some new ones. Um, hopefully that'll, that'll brighten his day a little bit too. <laughs> Truth be told, he won't even notice. I'll put them in there and he'll be able to match them right away, but I don't think he'll think that they're new. Uh, he doesn't quite pay attention to those kinds of details. Anyway, next up we have a can of white beans for my ever consistent white bean chili that we tend to eat at least once a month apparently because I buy it every month, right? And then we have some coffee filters. As you know, I am a big, 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 big coffee drinker. I drink way too much, um, which means we go through a lot of coffee filters. <laughs> um, so I have replenished the supply there. And then to maybe encourage me to not drink Monster and coffee all day long, <laughs> I also picked up a little package of V8. Um, vegetable juice. Uh, my fiance thinks this is the most disgusting stuff in the world, but I find that um, if I'm in the mood for a snack, like I think I'm hungry, um, and I have one of these, I'd say at least 50% of the time, um, it's enough to make me go, you know what, maybe I don't need a snack, I might have been thirsty. So, because there's not much to it. There's only, these are little baby cans, but they only have uh, 30 calories a can, um, although 6 grams of carbohydrate, a little on the high side, but since they are the small cans, I think I'll be able to get away with that. Next up, 
Let's go ahead and finish off this bag, actually. It's almost done here. Uh, we have some Queen Olives stuffed with mince pimiento. Um, my fiance loves martinis and very dirty ones at that. So this won't actually last very long, or at least the juice part won't. <laughs> Uh, because he likes his martinis very dirty, which means lots and lots of olive juice. And I have since learned how to do a, a quick brine to like refill the liquid in the jar. Uh, but I have also learned that you can only do that a few times uh, before it just starts tasting like watered down vinegar. <laughs> because a lot of what brine is, is, is uh, vinegar and salt, right? Um... So we actually have some olives that the poor things have been like <laughs> rejuiced so many times that they don't taste like olive anymore. It's kind of funny. Uh, so I'll have to <laughs> toss them, unfortunately, but we got a pretty good run out of them, so I can't complain. Uh, in the same vein as the olives, we have also some kosher dill pickles, which are a nice diet-friendly snack, right? They're less than one gram of carbohydrate per two pickles. <laughs> Serving size is, is two pickles, that's funny. Uh, zero calories, although that's probably not true. It's probably got like a calorie in there. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty neutral snack. So, uh, wish me luck. I plan on losing at least another 15 pounds before the wedding. And I've got five months to do that, so I should be safe, but um, only if I actually stay on track this time. And that finishes up that bag. Uh, I was gonna try to use some paper bags since uh, they at least biodegrade, right? Um, but they had run out of paper bags on my line, and I really, really, really wanted to get out of the store. Um, plus, you know, plastic is a little more ASMR friendly, I suppose. So um, maybe next next month I'll get some paper bags. Um, next up, though, we have some nice, big, fluffy hamburger buns and for the hamburgers I'm going to be making, right? naturally. Um, but sadly, these are not going to be for me. Uh, one of the reasons why um, hamburgers is a good choice, you know, aside from the fact that it's summer and hamburgers make me think of summer, right? <laughs> um, but it's pretty easy for me to make him a regular hamburger and then for me to kind of do a, a protein style um, uh, not quite hamburger, right? With some lettuce and stuff, uh, you know, just to get out all those unnecessary carbohydrates. So, really, really gonna try hard to not eat any of the hamburger buns, even though they're like they've got the sesame seeds on them, and they just they seem like a very fresh pack. So, I want to eat one right now. <laughs> I've only been on back on the diet for like three days, and. Uh, the, the beginning part is always the hardest, right? Because everything just sounds so delicious. Um, speaking of kind of cheating, not really cheating, this uh, little pack of bananas I've been uh, waving around as I talk um, is kind of one of those foods where like, yes, there's some fiber and potassium is good for me and blah, blah, blah. Bananas themselves are very high in sugar. Um, so I only grabbed a couple because I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of wean myself down. I'm not gonna go extreme like you know full keto or anything uh, right off the bat because that's just just a little bit too much, right? It's hard. Low carb diets in every form are hard. <laughs> uh, next up, we have some kettle cooked salt and pepper potato chips. Those will kind of complement the hamburgers, I think. And then hiding off on the side here, we have some apples. 
and some lemons. The apples are for my guys' lunches, right? Um, and then the lemons are for me to make a very poor man's lemonade alcoholic drink. <laughs> uh, oddly enough, although it is high calorie, alcohol is low carb. It's actually, if you get pure alcohol, it's nothing. It has no carbs. It has alcohol sugars, but your body um, digests those differently. So they don't affect your bloodstream in the same way as like cane sugar would. So I'm definitely keeping the alcohol in my diet <laughs> for now anyways. Um, off to the side here, I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, green bag up here. This is my Sam's Club stuff. I did Sam's Club yesterday um, mainly because uh, they are limiting how many people can come in at a time, right? Um, so it takes a good two hours, I think, to shop there right now. Um, but good deals, you know, this uh, Hunter's Mix of Nuts, it's about $6 for, what is that? That's two pounds, four ounces worth of nuts and, and little breadsticks. And then I also got, to go with my excessive coffee consumption, a giant bag of donut shop coffee, which is, you know, a Dunkin' Donuts ripoff, right? I also got uh, some more of those smoked sausages. Uh, definitely low carb. It's got some protein and some fat in there. So those are good. And then rounding out this bag here, I've also got um, some kind mini bars. So these are uh, nut bars, right? And they're little itty bitty guys. So if I cheat and have one, it's not so bad, right? Uh, there's four grams of fiber in these. They have chicory root in them. Um, and there's only three grams of sugar. So it's not a bad little little snack. They aren't super filling if you eat them on your own, but I find that if I put it in like as a as the dessert part of my meal, right? If I have my healthy vegetables and stuff, and then I finish my meal off with one of these guys, uh, it feels satisfying, you know, kind of like I've had a real dessert, but not really. <laughs> Following that, I'll go ahead and point out my uh, pack of paper towels. Uh, things like paper towels and loo roll are slowly starting to fill the stores again. Um, I saw um, toilet paper at both Sam's Club and Winco when I went shopping, but we didn't need any, so I resisted the urge to pick some more up just in case. <laughs> uh, but we did need some more paper towels. And they did not have smaller packs available, unfortunately. So I just got the big one. This will last us a very long time though, because we mostly use, you know, cloth towels where uh, possible. But I do arts and crafts, of course. And, and my fiance, in order to kind of keep himself entertained, um, since he can't go out and see his friends, uh, has picked up a miniature painting, you know, like little D&D &D figures and stuff. Um, actually, technically, what we're painting is um, little pieces from his board games. He's quite the, the board game connoisseur, and many of them have like little figures in them. So we've been going through and, and painting them. Um, and that's been helping him kind of relax at home and and kind of offset, you know, the other activities that he would normally be doing. So it's a good thing. Uh, but anyways, this little uh, plastic thunder here is a big old pack of tomatoes. It has the green tomatoes and the yellow tomatoes and all the fun colors. I confess that usually the colored ones don't really taste all that much different uh, from the regular guys, but I enjoy when they're colorful. 
Uh, so I end up paying a little bit more for that. Plus they say, you know, different colors means different vitamins, right? So I'm going to stick with that theory. <laughs> Next up, we got some nacho cheese popcorn seasoning. Um, this stuff is good for popcorn, of course. But I have found that it is also good for adding on top of, you know, like vegetables and things. Uh, the only trick I would tell people if you decide to use this brand, at least, I don't know about all brands, is that it doesn't really do well with being cooked for long periods of time. So, like, if you're making some sort of cheesy vegetable mix, I would put this on at the end rather than cook it into the vegetables. But other than that, kind of adds a little bit of, um, I don't know, like almost artificial cheesy goodness. It has that, because you know, nacho cheese isn't the most natural tasting cheese, especially when you get it out of a, like a can or something, right? Um, but my fiance absolutely adores that kind of flavor, that like <laughs> almost cheese flavor. So uh, it'll be good. It'll help change up the flavor of a few things. Next up, we have a package of tortilla shells. It's also very um, consistent for me to make uh, tacos, right? With lots of jalapenos, of course. <laughs> and tacos is another thing where, you know, I make the meat and I fry up the shells for him. And then I usually will cook up, um, you know, like rice cauliflower. And I'll put my taco meat over the cauliflower which helps make it a little less spicy for me um, and also means that I'm not eating those tasty, tasty, but uh, fattening shells. <laughs> and then this uh, crunchy, crunchy bag here is some more potato chips. This is jalapeno flavored chips. Um, if you watch enough of these videos, you'll you'll know that jalapeno is, is probably it might be the the main flavor of our household like if you were to like break down the things we eat garlic jalapeno and bacon <laughs> those are the main flavor profiles i think of our of our house well apartment really i like to call it a house though it's a home how about that uh, moving right along though we've got some butter uh, continue with the jalapeno theme. I have some jalapeno mustard. We aren't huge mustard eaters, but I saw it there, and I always get mustard every or um, jalapeno flavored everything, right? So I figured one of these days I'll just throw it on his hamburger and surprise him. <laughs> uh, my guy is very uh, forgiving of my culinary testing. Uh, in fact, he enjoys the fact that um, outside of the, the the couple of meals that are very consistent, like the, the chili and the tacos, right? I'm experimenting all the time. Uh, keeps things interesting. Next up, we have a little bag of potatoes. Potatoes do have a lot of starch in them, so I don't cook them often, but... Uh, I was feeling like our vegetable choices were getting a little bland, so I decided to add some potato uh, to the rotation. Next up, we've got some freezer bread. I've actually got two kinds here. I've got garlic knots, and then I also have some five cheese Texas toast, which also has garlic in it. <laughs> Um, and I think I've mentioned this before, but what I enjoy about these is that I can just pull out one or two um, to supplement my guy's meal, you know, because I try not to force my diet onto him, right? Um, and because it's coming from the freezer and I cook just one, I'm not as tempted, honestly, to um, eat them myself. So that's a good thing. And then we have some celery, I like celery and peanut butter. It's always tasty. Um, and then we've got some 
Hobie Jack cheese for our hamburgers. And then I picked up some Caesar dressing. I'm going to be, now that it's warm outside, I'm going to try to replace some of my meals with more salad-like um, things. Uh, salads aren't always the healthier option, but they can be if you measure everything, weigh it out, and um, realize that a mere two tablespoons of Caesar dressing is 140 calories. So uh, when you make a salad, you have to be careful. <laughs> and then finishing off this bag, these little bags go a lot faster, right? <laughs> But that does mean that I have a whole lot more bags to go through, right? That could be a good thing. Um, but anyways, finishing off that particular bag is some Polish kibasa. Uh, it's very easy to make and it's fairly inexpensive. Um, I was fortunate when I went to Sam's Club. Uh, they actually had chicken in stock, which they haven't had the past two months. Well... They probably have had it at some point in the two months, but every time I went, it was gone. Um, so they finally had some. So I've got some nice inexpensive chicken, um, but kibasas are good too. And it just kind of changes up the flavor profile a little bit because chicken can get a little boring, right? <laughs> I should have started with these bags first because they contain a lot of my cooler stuff that I'm worried about, although it all feels mostly cold still, so that's good. Uh, I have some mozzarella cheese and some parmesan cheese. And let's see here, I have some mango chunks. I bought a pack of these last month for my smoothies, and I am going to kind of... Um, get away from the smoothies a little bit because I've been entering them into my calorie calculator, right? And they are very calorie dense um, for the amount of fulfillment I get out of it, right? But I had mango in the freezer and I was really craving something sweet. And I knew I didn't want, you know, ice cream or cookies or anything because that's, you know, bad. Um, so I popped a bunch of mango into a bowl and three-fourths of a cup is only 90 calories, although it is 20 grams of carbohydrate. Um, and I just kind of ate them, uh, mostly frozen. Kind of let them thaw just like for a few minutes. And it was kind of like having, um, you know, a very icy sorbet. So, you know, when compared to actual sorbet, I'm sure it's the healthier choice. <laughs> Man, now I want to eat those mangoes because they're already kind of thawed out a little bit from <laughs> uh, driving home and getting ready for the video and everything. Um, so I want to eat them, but I won't. Uh, I will have a nice uh, veggie stir fry when I am done with the video. But until then, let's get all this stuff unwrapped, right? There's some half and half and cream cheese and some ground beef and some frozen corn and some of those stir-fry vegetables that I will be eating for lunch. <laughs> now we're starting to make some progress. We're down to just two more bags. Um, not pictured uh, would be a couple of things I picked up at Sam's Club yesterday. I got the chicken right, and I've already broken open the package and uh, divided that out, right? Um, and then there was some broccoli and some carrots, which I've already opened up and started using. Uh, we were in dire need of groceries, so... Um, and then what else? What else did I get? There's also the hamburger patties are already in the freezer. So those are the things that I am not unbagging for you today. But there are still plenty of things to unbag. First of which are some very giant beets. Uh, I love to make roasted beets. 
um, oil, salt, pepper. Um, I usually add some like um, something spicy, like I've got chipotle salt or pepper flakes or jalapenos. <laughs> um, to kind of offset the, the sugar in the beets because beets are actually very sugary. Most root vegetables are, right? Uh, on the vegetable train, we've got some asparagus stir fry. This is kind of a different flavor mix from the, um, well, this one's the pepper. I've got, I don't normally pick up pepper mix, but like I said, I was feeling like our, um, our vegetable choices were, f f you know, being very too consistent. So I wanted to add a little bit of variety. So I got these peppers and then my classic broccoli stir fry mix, which as you know, I love to cook up with a little bit of bacon. And it's a surprisingly filling, filling <laughs> uh, meal considering that uh, the way I normally make it, it's probably only around 250 calories. So it's pretty tasty stuff. And speaking of bacon, I ended up getting another giant pack of bacon. Oh man. So this one is 5.07 pounds. Um, and it is cheaper to buy it in the super jumbo pack, right? Uh, even though it's it's cheaper, I wouldn't say that it's cheap, right? I spent $26.26 on bacon. And the one that I bought last month just, just exactly made it through a month. So apparently that's how much bacon we eat. I may have to um, reevaluate that at some time. Um, you know, I don't eat a lot in one sitting, so it's not really that much of a health concern. It's more of, um, environmental of all the proteins. Uh, pig, pig farming is actually one of the worst offenders, um, environment wise. So I always feel a little bit bad for eating pork products, but I just stick with the bacon. I don't have like pork chops or anything like that. Not that it really makes it better. I find myself cheating a lot these days and I'm kind of torn up about it because at the, on the one hand, it's like everything I try to do to like make things better doesn't feel like it's actually doing anything or it gets taken away. Like you're not allowed to use this thing or bring your own straws or whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm having a, a bit of an identity crisis. <laughs> uh, apparently, pandemics will do that to you. And with that, we are down to our last bag. Um, I know it's always a little bittersweet for you guys listening, right? Um, because you know that means the video is almost at an end here, right? Uh, but for me, it's exciting because I get to have lunch, right? <laughs> And it also means that I can turn the refrigerator back on and turn on the air conditioning, uh, both of which make too much noise for recording, right? Um, but I have been very fortunate today in that the neighbors and the landscapers and everybody seem to be off doing something else. Uh, so I have lucked out at least in one aspect today. Um, but anyways, you guys are here for food. Let's keep talking about the food. I get distracted so easily. Um, I caved in and I got myself a little jar of Nutella. Definitely not diet friendly, I confess. Um, but they actually had the little jars, you know, so that I'm not eating, you know, two pounds of Nutella. It's all I could find last month was like giant two pound jars. Um, and I ended up actually giving my fiance most of those little to-go cup Nutella things that I found last month. 
Um, and I just, it did not get out of my system, I guess is the moral of the story. So uh, I picked up that and I think, I'm hoping that's like the last major cheat that I do. Because <laughs> otherwise we're not going to get this diet back on track, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Next up, we have some Baby Red's mashed potatoes. Just a quick little filler item for dinner, right? And then I have two bags, actually, of Spitz brand sunflower seeds. And some of you may think this is gross, but they are dill pickle flavor. Now, a little fact about me that you may not know is I used to be a very heavy smoker. Um, and when I was quitting, I ate a lot of sunflower seeds. Um, and I've noticed lately that, you know, because I've been more anxious, the, the desire to, you know, pick that bad habit back up again has been very strong. And I was thinking about it, you know, actually on my way to the grocery store about, you know, how easy it would be to fall into that. Um, and one of the first things I ran into when I was at the grocery store was a big old display of these. Um, normally, this particular brand um, is a little harder to find in town. It's, at, it's in like certain gas stations, so it's not impossible to find. Um, but it's not usually, I don't recall act ever before, seeing it, I don't think anyways, at Winco. So it was very um, serendipitous, if you will, that they had the sunflower seeds and they had my favorite flavor. I don't know why dill pickle is my favorite flavor. I think it's just so different that it's entertaining, right? Um, so I may go ahead and, and chomp on some sunflower seeds when I'm feeling anxious and see if that kind of helps. Because I think, you know, I'm, I'm starting to settle into um, the way my life has changed since the um, social distancing orders got into effect. Um, but I get very sad, you know, I'll be honest. Um, there are, are days where I get very sad because, you know, I had just quit my job right before the pandemic um, so that I could do the arts and crafts full time and everything and I feel adrift, you know, a little lost. I'm, I'm working on it though. I think I'm doing better. Um, so on that less than positive note, but is positive. <laughs> Um, we'll talk about this bag that I'm twirling around here. That is another giant bag of jalapenos. And I put those in the tacos. I put those in the white bean chili, right? Um, and then I also, like, I unbagged some cream cheese earlier. I'm planning on making some stuffed jalapenos. Um, and then they're also good for, um, hamburgers. At least I always put one, if I have them in stock, I put one in, um, my guy's sandwich, you know, I toast it, roast it, yeah, roast it. Um, so it gets a little, you know, charcoal on it and, um, stick that on the hamburger and he's a, he's, he's a happy guy when I do that. <laughs> Um, and I guess, speaking of hamburgers, here's some good old lettuce, romaine lettuce though. Um, and I like these romaine hearts, um, better than getting a bag of lettuce. I mean, I will have to chop them if I want them in a salad. Um, but because it's a whole leaf, it will keep in the refrigerator a little bit longer. Um, so that's good. I tend to, when I get the bags of lettuce, either I get a really tiny bag and it's like a salad or I get a big bag and for whatever reason I get halfway through the bag and then I forget about it or I eat other things for a little bit and then it's that like gross moldy mushiness. Um, 
Not to say that that won't happen with the romaine hearts, but it takes it much longer <laughs> to go bad. <laughs> and with that, we are down to our last item. This was smooth sailing today, I have to admit. I'm very excited that I didn't have to pause like a million different times uh, to get this video done. This is going to be my positive takeaway of the day. <laughs> but our last item here is some pepper jack cheese cubes. Um, it's a rather large bag and I was getting them and getting a little overwhelmed by how much cheese is in there. Um, so I quit it for a little while. Um, but I think that I am ready to have a giant bag of cheese again. <laughs> <laughs> that makes any sense. Um, cheese is one of those things that um, I'll, I definitely eat more of when I'm trying to go low carb, right? Although you have to be careful with it because it is a very calorie dense food, even if it is low carb. Um, and of course, you know, my guy loves cheese in, in every form, whether it's like fake nacho cheese and cheese whiz, or if it's, you know, real cheese. Um, so he'll help me eat it, of course. Um, and I had missed, there is one other thing I bought at Sam's Club that was not unbagged, uh, and that was some grapes, some regular red seedless grapes. I don't know why, but it is my favorite, favorite, like, um, snacky, I wouldn't say snack option. What would be, like, it is snacks, but like when you go to a party or, if you like go to Starbucks and pay a lot of money for a little, um, what do they call that? A chartreuse platter, chartreuse. Oh, I don't know what that word is supposed to sound like. Uh, but anyways, you know, the type of snacks you eat at a party. Um, having grapes and cheese together, oh, it's great. You know, you get the, the bright crisp notes, you know, of the, of the grape and the juiciness and then Especially with like pepper jack cheese that's kind of heavy and like it has a little bit of spice to it. They just, I don't know, they mesh really well. <laughs> to me anyways. Um, so that gets us to the end of our video. Naturally, we do some shout outs. But before I get to that, a little more housekeeping. Um... I am very, very happy to hear that most of you find the videos um, at a good volume. Um, I had mentioned in my last one that a guy had complained, you know, it was too quiet, and I was like, does he know what ASMR is supposed to sound like? I'm not sure, you know. So I kind of asked everybody, and pretty much anybody who's like a regular subscriber or a big fan of ASMR or, you know, I feel, you know, it would be qualified, <laughs> if you will, to answer the question. Have all said that it sounds fine, so I'm very happy that I don't have to like artificially increase the volume of the recording, because again, we're sound people, right? We don't want to, um, you know, sacrifice the quality of that sound just to make it louder. That's, that's not what this whole ASMR thing is about, right? <laughs> um, and on another, another positive note, I guess today is a good day. I didn't realize it. <laughs> I have reached over 250 subscribers, which means at some point I'm going to hit 300. And I am not real big on um, the milestone thing. Mostly because I don't pay attention. <laughs> um, but I figured, I feel like with, you know, all the new subscribers and the fact that the world's been kind of crazy, that um, when I hit 300, I'll do some sort of bonus video. Um, so you've got two options. Um, if you guys have stayed awake long enough to hear this, uh, Give me your answer in the comments below, right? Um, so option one would be a remake or a um, bigger, badder, better uh, version of 
a my introductory to felting, um, which is my main um, artistic medium, I guess you would say, right now. Um, so I have been kind of wanting to redo that because I've learned so much since I made my original felting video that I think I could make one that's a little more satisfying, right? Um, so that's option one, a new felting video. Um, option number two is that I will buy some more foreign snacks and do a taste test. It would probably be a much shorter video if I do that because um, I'll have to be on kind of a tight budget when I order those snacks. Um, but I'm thinking like, I might just like try a bunch of different jellies. Those are one of my favorite Japanese snacks, they're the little jello cups. Um, so I may order that. I haven't decided for sure, you know. And also, you know, maybe you guys want to do felting more. So taste test felt, taste test felt. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll do the other option when we hit 400. I'm making no promises though. <laughs> now that you've been patiently, patiently waiting, I know some of you are curious to see if your name comes up. It's always satisfying, right, to hear your name. Um, and I feel bad that I just can't like thank everybody, but that would be too excessive, right? <laughs> Plus, that's that element of like winning the lottery, right? Um, anyway, so I'm going to shout out to Triperino Whispers, Sharon May, and Melissa Parlay. I think that's how it's pronounced. Perlay? Per... Peely? Ooh, it could be Peely. Yikes. <laughs> well, Melissa, thank you for commenting, however your last name is pronounced, and um, I will see you guys next time. Nighty-night.